G'day guys, so we're here in the Alpha Adventure compound shed and we've just got back from season 11 filming it and I'll tell you what, it's been an epic trip mate, how good was it? Mate, it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> back in black, yeah. came back. She came back, so Back in Black's gonna get a bit of a treat today because we are going to fit up a new roof rack from Rhino Rack and it's called the Pioneer NG. Next generation. All righty, so the first thing that I noticed with it is it incorporates all the wiring and we'll show you exactly how well it goes together. So the first thing we're gonna do, Simon, is is we're gonna drill out a hole for the wiring to come through on one of the corners. Yep. And we're gonna fit a switch. Perfect. All right, so you'll notice here that it's got a little hole here and an outside circle, and it's basically you drill here. It's that simple. So I've got a little drill here, and I'll just whack a hole in there. So you get the right size, probably a bit more. All right, so that'll do us. Now that hole there, I can run some wires through that hole, which I'll need to. And also on this side, which I've got, and I'll drill that as well. That's your fingers. Don't drill through your fingers, no. mate. That, that's the first one. And so what we want to do now is we want to, um, we want to use that to push the, the switch through. All right, here we go. I'm going to set this switch. I see you've already done yours. Yep, You're fast, switch over it. And look, here we go. We've got a bit of wiring here, so we'll put the switch in. The switch is in place. All right, the wire comes through there, that hole, and then we'll slip him over. That just clips into place on the corner here. A couple of screws. Yeah, whack the screws in, mate. Now, there's a nifty little tool that they give us. That's the little tool that you get with the kit. It comes with it. One thing I've noticed about just sort of standing here looking at this roof rack, how slim line is it? So they've changed the dynamics of the front section, and it's designed to catch, you know, mm. not to catch the wind so yep. much. So it doesn't create that, you know, that noise that you get from some roof racks. So, aerodynamically shaped so that it is more efficient when it's sitting up on top of your roof. Now, that's the feature there. That gets our switch happening. So we've got a switch there now. That'll operate the lights, all right? Now, the other thing you'll notice is there is a track runs along here, and in that track, you're able to lay the wiring in, and you've got these little rubber clips. See that, Simon? Yep. Little cool little rubber clips here. So it's just, you cut that to sections, you just whatever length you want. All right, so you see that? See how it locks it in nice and tight? Yep. Nice and neat. Um, and so now the wire can run through down there. We lock it in place. We've got another light there. We've got four work lights. And then, of course, we've got that main light bar up the front. All right? I'm going to show you some other features along here. Now, you will notice is uh, it's almost like a, so a tape, tape measure, mate. A tape measure yep. on there. See that? The tape measure there? Yep. All right, you got it? Yep. Yep, just on 12 there? On 12. This is the little tool that I was telling you they give you. Now this is actually in like a torque wrench. Yep, can't over tighten it. it. Yep, can't over tighten it. All right, you want to check yours on your side. Yep, perfect, lock her in, mate. You got him? Right, so that's the center bar now. These are set to the length because we've measured it. You okay. don't have to measure it's it easy. now, do you? Yeah, exactly. So slide your feet in. So we're going to slide our feet in. No, 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 wrong feet. Oh, wrong foot. Feet, these feet. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there's always a monkey in every class, isn't there? Alright, the other thing you'll notice here at the front, Simon, is the track. There is now a channel nut track in the front there. Mate, that's, see the best, that? that's the best mount for light bar. Yeah, so see seen. that? Just, yep. just move that into position now, so easy enough. I've got about 20 mil between the side. Yep, yep. perfect. Alright, so we'll just nip that up. Which is, look, that, I'll tell you now, we used to, in the old days, we used to drill right through the we whole did rack. So. <laughs> so that makes a big improvement in the features. Nip that up. Mate. We got that. It even comes with the like, correct brackets. We yeah. normally have to cut the brackets on the light bar to see. <laughs> That's good. Now, have a look at this as well, and I'll show you. So this is the section of track on the corner. Have a look down in there. See yep. there? So yep. all the wires, if you need to run wires, you run Straight them through. right through this section there. Yep. And remember I was telling you the aerodynamics of it have changed? Yep. And made it more aerodynamic. Have a look at that. Oh yeah. That's See really the nice good. shapes, smooth edges. You've got that track there to mount your light bars. Run your wires in there, cover cap, no problem. Perfect. It's a pretty good feature. Alrighty, I think that's pretty much it, mate. We've got everything on there. Let's flip her over and make sure she's all good on top. Go. Stop him down there. The other thing you'll notice as well is you've got a channel across the front. Nice. And that allows you to mount yep. a light bar on top. So yep. we can run one on top, one underneath. So that, how, how good is that? Yep. So channel you, on the back too. Yeah, one on the back. So 
channels along the side, which is normal, and we mount all our accessories on there. Let's chuck her on the roof, eh? Why not? Whack her on the roof, mate. Load that aerial. Touch. That looks pretty good. Looks great, buddy. All right, mate, you jump inside and we'll hit the switch and test her out. Draw her out, mate. All right, so. All right, Simon, hit the switch. Boom. Yeah, she works, mate. I'll just check the side lights with the, the switch. switches. Yep. Look at that. How cool is that? Hey. That's very cool. Not bad for a couple of amateurs. Yeah. Lights on, lights off. Good job. Perfect. Man. That looks great. Well, there you go. It looks pretty good. There's no doubt about it. It is a good looking roof rack. Now, it also fits all the accessories that you've got already if you've got a Rhino roof rack. So, there's no doubt about that. That's an easy fit. Shovel, max track, oh, all yeah. that gear, yeah. high jack. jack. It, you name yard. it. The whole shooting match. So, there you go, guys. There's one thing Rhino rack know how to do, and that's build good roof rack.